Often when we speak to our colleagues in Germany, we talk about Africa being quite unique because it's not an automated market. And most of what's required at the moment is more power products. And I think we, we have a nice blend of both power products um, to give quick solutions to Africa for power, like in the renewable energy sector, but at the same time actually automating the particular market as automation is starting to grow. For example, in Kenya, customers at this stage have automated plants, especially for the brewing, and in that case are using IoT type products. And because these are all connected to the internet, they are really subject to EMC, or let's call it um, electromagnetic currents, which affect them. And from that point of view, we have the range of products and accessories which can ultimately assist. So not only from an automation point of view, but also from a power point of view, we believe we're actually offering a lot of value to different countries in Africa. The other thing that we've done in Africa is um, we've got quite good at being able to know what to do and how to ship to different parts of Africa. Projects in Madagascar, Reunion, Mauritius. But there are definitely good opportunities there because most of those are sub-European colonies or, or, or countries that were actually had um, affiliation to them and because of that we find there's good demand for more automated type products in these countries. So I think with Africa there's a lot of opportunity. Um, our businesses are seeing it as an opportunity for a go forward um, in terms of growth. So with, with a good dedicated team of good technically avert people I think we have a lot to offer for Africa. I think one of the things is that um, Quality to people is something that's really important, especially if you're in facilities or mining facilities or in automation type companies where downtime is really important. And when downtime is important, people want quality product, which we have a saying, fit and forget. So if we're going to fit and forget, it means that we're going to give you the solution that you require for the product. And we know that once you put it in, it will last and then you have minimum downtime. So that's one of the things that we've been promoting specific and specialized type items here. Also in what we call our VSD or VFD cables, again, as technology is improving, the likes of ABB and Siemens, some of our customer base, are asking for these specific cables for their installations. So we're able to offer a wide variety of solutions for customers. We have around about 40,000 products in the range and locally keep about 3,700 in stock. And I think that's also made a difference for us because we've managed to understand what our customers' requirements are and based on their requirements, change our inventory availability within South Africa to their requirements. So I think um, a lot of that have been promoting. One of the other products that's taken off here at the show, um, well, actually two of them, they value adders or dispensing units which are used just to dispense cable. So it makes utilizing cable for our clients a lot easier. And that has actually been something that's worked well for us at this show this year. As the guys are using different products like in a panel, for example, in the control panel, it's vitally important that they have a standard color range of product that they're utilizing. And the outside diameter of the products need to be consistent and the same. Lab products, as I said, from a quality point of view, offer that to, to our clients, especially if you're in an automated situation where people are automating and uh, cutting products on, with automatic machinery and stripping. And these particular products that we've got here assist and facilitate that easy usage of, of our products. What it does do at the end of the day, it means you can use the cable to the last meter. So the benefit for the client is that you don't have any scrap or have minimal scrap in terms of using our dispensing units. I think over the last eight years, um, together we've built a formidable team of people who have a lot of technical capabilities um, to the point that they can actually walk into a client and say, I have a problem. What is your problem, sir? Okay, this is the problem that we have. We're experiencing, we, we're having too much downtime. And in that instance, we are then able to actually look at the, the, the installation or at the actual machinery that's working at any one point in time. And with that, come up with solutions with our client to give them what they require to improve their OE. And I think that's really what's, what's making the difference with our, with our clients. The other thing is, as I said earlier as well, um, just understanding what the clients want or what they need has made the difference for us. Specifically here at the show this year, which has been fantastic, I must say, a really great electro mining show this year, um, we, we focused on products related to the industry sector that we're in at the show, mining. And 
I think that's made a difference to the clients being able to see what is available. Touch and feel for me is something that I think people like to see. You know, to show them in a thing in a catalogue is one thing, but to physically show them the product and show them what it's capable of doing makes a huge difference for them. So it's really been a good show.